one. Hello, everybody. I am going to get this drill done on the video so you guys have something that you can look at so you don't forget or feel lost. And everybody's going to be doing this for a half hour a night, I'm sure. So, again, just to review, so a couple important things that we have to do to make this drill effective is one, we talked about getting the club properly in the left hand so that the butt end of our left hand right there, we've got that, that weight. Because remember, when we get that outside of this hand, it moves. When we get the wear on our glove right there from the club moving, so we want to make sure we get that hand right on top of that. That's important. And when you're doing this drill, by making sure that's proper, properly in there and getting the thumb, don't leave the thumb off the shaft, keep it tight on there, that's strengthening our left hand grip. And that's helping us to have more face stabilization. That's, so, that's part of the strengthening process that this drill is going to give us. And remember when we go out in front of us, so that's straight, that's a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna go at a 45. And even just right when I put it at a 45 with the right grip on there, I instantly feel, I, I feel like I'm, I'm strengthening. I kind of feel like I've got to focus and keep it like that. And so just holding it at this 45 degree angle, that's a form of strengthening the hand and the wrist and the grip and everything that's gonna allow us to have more stabilization of the face. So again, at the 45 degree angle, and we're gonna come, keep our body straight like this, and we're gonna bend down, stand at the 45, stand at the 45, stand at the 45, I get to here, and now I'm gonna go ahead and allow my legs to come into it. So at this point, this is the angle that you wanna be in, so you guys can look in a mirror, look in a window, something like this to see that you're in this position. Now I'm just gonna start moving the legs. So I'm gonna go onto my left, back onto my right, and start moving. And I'm gonna keep that arm and keep that exact 45 degree angle that I had, and that's what it's gonna look like. So if I go from this angle, go down, so you can imagine if, if you're looking into a, a mirror, so now watch my legs, watch my hand. So as I'm keeping it in that 45 degree angle, if just holding it like this is a little bit of work and it's strengthening and I can feel that it's, you know, it's, it's working, to bring it down and just move the legs like this, it's gonna work that much harder. So just when you're first starting out, even if it's for a half hour, and you're just monitoring that you've got it in the 45, you've brought it down, you kneel into it, and even if you're just moving it like this, that's gonna be enough to, maybe you do this for just a week, maybe you do this for two weeks to get the strength that you need. As soon as you feel like you've kind of lost your grip a little bit, or your arm's burning, or you've gotten out of position at all, we want perfect position, perfect practice is good, not just practice. So we're gonna take our time, we're gonna reset, we're gonna get that on there so it's just right, there and there, get back in our 45, come down, and then kneel. And so eventually, we wanna to get to where we're doing full swings with this. So I felt on that last one, the club come. I felt this come out of my left hand. I got to reset now. I'm not strong enough to keep it there. So I get it back in the hand, okay, that I know is proper. And it needs to be perfect. Why not have it be perfect? If you can't do it perfect in the drill, it's going to be really tough to do it. So I come back down, get set, okay, start with the legs. Already, the club has slipped out of my hand a little bit again because now I've got some fatigue. So I'm gonna keep going through this process. If I get tired and I feel like I'm not doing it as good with the full swing again, again, like I said, until you develop that strength, go ahead and just keep it real small, just like that. There's nothing wrong with moving it just like this.
this. So I talked to some of the students today. I've got another prop here I'm going to use. Just like learning scales on a piano, learning scales on a guitar, or even learning scales and singing, we've got to go over and over and over to build up the finger strength to be able to hit the right notes before we can actually play some song. Same on the piano and same in singing. So I've got a broom here. It's cut off. So can you see that to where, bring it down a little bit, so you can see it's a broom. So if I get my 45 here, I bring it down and I kneel, watch the broom, which would be the same as my club face. So if I've got a broom, that club face shouldn't be rotating open like that. Because at this point, now I come, I'm gonna drag my hand and then I'm gonna to have to flip it. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to keep it here. There's my face, the broom. So if that face isn't turning over, my hand isn't turning over. So I keep it here and then I go and it's all legs, just like that. Right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg. So it's the same. Just do this for five minutes straight. If you do it for five minutes straight, slowly and slowly, you'll start to get bored and you'll start to just not think of anything and you'll start using your legs proper. Just get this and go back and forth, just like that. Just keep doing it for five minutes. And you'll eventually stop thinking about what you're doing and you'll just allow your legs. That's all it is. So one more time with the golf club. And Steph, if you want to come in and get a close up, just kind of right here again with the hand. So imagine like I have the broom, so my face is that is the bristles there. Now I'm not gonna roll it open, I'm gonna keep it. Go slow. So if your hand doesn't look like this, if it's turning over in any way, it's wrong. So again, some full swings. So just like this. Okay, I'm gonna let my legs just like that. So again, a half hour a night, every night. Start real slow, pace yourself. It's about perfect form and really paying attention to what you're doing. And so I'm gonna keep working on this drill, guys, and our ball striking is gonna get amazing.